he didn't see fit to go. Not without men. I came for men. He disguised a battalion as a holding battalion, sir. Auctioned the men for his own profit and stole the pay. He is secretary at war. He is a thief. Every word we'll do this properly. What is your proof of this, Sharp? Hmm? You can substantiate these accusations, surely. I know what you are. I know what Sir Henry is. I've seen for myself, sir. But you have no proof, Sharp. So take heed of this. The South Essex, or rather, the Prince of Wales' own volunteers, <laughs> as we must now call them, will embark for Spain under the command of Lieutenant Colonel Girdwood. You, Major Sharp, will embark for Australia, where you'll command a convict guard. Far too lenient. I would break the ingrate. They don't hardly have a dress of the Antipodes, Sharp. You'll be at home. How many times have I said he get dross from dross? Comes of plucking up from the racks. Never sit easy, do they? I sit like I was bored, sir. <laughs> you will not, though invited, attend on the Prince of Wales tonight. He's had far too much excitement for one day. Your orders are being written as we speak. Until they arrive, you will wait in the guardroom under arrest. Come. You have the orders? Uh, not yet, my lord. Uh, your wife is here. I have no wife. You'll forgive me, Simon. Please, don't get up, Sir Henry. <coughs> we are not acquainted, General. No, we are, ma'am. My loss. Uh, do please present me, Simon. My dear Anne, I am engaged on the business of state. Introduce me. General Sebastian Maxwell, I have the honour of naming the Dowager Countess Camoin. Honour, ma'am. Now, I will be obliged if you will wait outside. Major Sharp, you are most remiss. Remiss, ma'am? You promised me this. But I had to find it myself. Your steward wanted to know what he was to burn. And he was still reading this when I arrived. <laughs> I have the other one quite safe, rescued from the flames as well. It contains letters signed by you, Simon. Get out. Give me those notes. Get out. And you. Out! Lord, if I insist this is done properly. Oh, it is being done properly, Sebastian. Were it done any other way, my dear General, there is likely to be the most horrid scandal. Is that not true, Simon? <laughs> Major Sharp, perhaps you have some few requests to make of Lord Fenner. Requests, ma'am? I assume you want a favour. My own will wait. I only want what Wellington wants. Men to take into battle against the French. I want the Prince of Wales' own volunteers to come with me to Spain. Agreed. I want all my men to get the pay they're owed. I want the 2nd Battalion properly established at Chelmsford. New officers, decent officers this time. I wish to have command given to Colonel Girdwood, sir. You'll serve under him? I will, sir. And I don't wish him to resign his commission before we set sail, sir. Very well. You finished, Major? Indeed, ma'am. Simon, I have two 
for sale. That ain't all you have for sale. Nor it isn't. But the price I would expect from you would have your shirt off your back long before come to bedtime. <clears throat> you can't afford her, Simerson. Few can. 